He was a superstar athlete known for high-flying dunks. Then, as we first reported as breaking news on Fox 13 Wednesday night, Sean Kemp was arrested, accused of a drive-by shooting. Thank you for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Hannah Kim. And I'm David Rose. Less than 24 hours later, he left the jail in Tacoma a free man. No charges filed. It's unclear if he even committed any crime, so they're still investigating. Our team has been working to talk with Kemp, his attorney, and investigators. Matthew Smith is live outside the Tacoma jail for us, where Kemp was released sometime this afternoon, Matthew. Yeah, so it seems that he is not facing charges at this time, but that doesn't mean that he won't because the prosecuting attorney's office did tell Fox 13 that they will continue an investigation with the Tacoma Police Department. Now, we were here both before and after Sean Kemp's release, but we didn't see it, meaning at some point in time, he slipped out. The guy in the red vest needs to be the tape in handcuffs. In audio first obtained by TMZ Sports, you hear police making the call to detain who we now know is Sean Kemp. Investigators initially reporting that he took part in a drive-by. He had a black pistol and fired five, ten shots at the subject and the forerunner. That description over an encrypted dispatch channel seems to have been talking about Kemp. Though his attorney says Kemp was returning fire in an act of self-defense telling Fox 13 via written statement that Kemp's vehicle had been broken into Tuesday and he had tracked it to this parking lot where we see Kemp. Adding, quote, when Mr. Kemp approached the vehicle in an attempt to retrieve his stolen property, individuals inside the vehicle shot at Mr. Kemp, who then returned fire in self-defense. There was not a drive-by shooting as previously reported, and Mr. Kemp's actions were reasonable and legally justified, end quote. We do know police talked about that tracked phone over the airwaves. He's tracking his phone over by Chipotle. As for today, Kemp appears to have woken up inside the jail, initially taken in on that drive-by shooting charge. Our crew was on the ground while he was released from what we understand, but aside from a few vehicles coming and going with tinted windows, there was never any indication Kemp had left. Now, it goes without saying that this shooting is drawing a lot of extra attention just because of who Sean Kemp is and his standing here in the community. The one-time superstar athlete, you could argue, is one of the most notable supersonics of all time. Now, he helped lift the Sonics to a 1996 NBA Finals appearance and was a multiple-time All-Star. More recently, though, he's become a weed connoisseur, a part owner in two different Seattle-based pot shops. As for what comes next, that is a little bit harder to say. Now, the prosecuting attorney uh, did indicate that Tacoma PD will continue this investigation despite the fact that charges have not been filed at this time. And Kemp's attorney did say that a criminal defense attorney has been hired if he were to need one. We're live in Tacoma. Matthew Smith, Fox 13 News. All right, Matthew, thank you.